Karla Fretta, my name is Arnalur and today I'm going to show you a simple crop opening transition that looks like, you know, or you can also close it, depends on what you like. <laughs> I was watching Big Shaq, man's not hot, and as you can see, I'm not hot, and he opened his music video with this transition and I was like, mm, looks cool. I'll show you how to do it, okay? So, without further ado, let's jump straight into Premiere Pro. All right, so welcome to Premiere Pro. We are gonna create a little crop opening effect here, and the first thing you need to do is making an adjustment layer. Now, you could put this effect straight on your clip, but I, I recommend that you make an adjustment layer, okay? So, we create an adjustment layer by clicking here, and adjustment layer, all right? And we click OK. Now, we just drag the adjustment layer on top, like so and you click the adjustment layer. Next thing is you go to effects. You can see the effects here, or you can see it up here. We'll just go here and we write crop. I've already written it, but for you guys, I'll do it again. So crop, and here you take the crop in under trans video effects, transitions, and crop, and you drag it to the adjustment layer, okay? Now you click effects control here while highlighting the adjustment layer, and here is the crop. Now we're gonna create some keyframes. So you toggle the animation in the bottom and at the top, okay? And depending on if you're making an opening or closing sequence, this is what you do. Now, we'll do an opening sequence here, then we'll make this 50%, and the top will also make 50%. And then you just basically decide of how long you want it to be. A big Shack had it three seconds, I counted, so right around three seconds here. We create new keyframes by clicking here. And then you can just write zero here and zero. And now it looks like this. Not bad, pretty cool. Now, if you would like it to end in black bars, all you need to do then, if you go to the keyframes here, instead of having zero, you can write 12 and then on the top, 12 too. Now what happens? is that once you're opening it, it will go stop there at the black bars. And this is what our man Big Shaq did when he was not hot. And I'm kind of hot right now. So a few things you can keep in mind depending on what you want to do. Now this opens at the same speed. If for some reason you don't want that, you can click highlight the one of the keyframes here, right click it and click ease out. And the other one ease out. And then these two here, you can go ease in and ease in. Now it starts slowly and then it goes down. That could be cool too. Depends on what you like. Now for the closing effect, it's pretty simple. It's kind of the same. So let's delete everything here. Now we just decide where we want to close this. This is around nine seconds. So let's have it right around six seconds. Now what you do, you basically create the keyframes here. So we already toggled the animation. Now we just click here and here, and we go to the end. I like to just make it here. And we go 50 and 50, and then I make sure to take the keyframes and drag them all the way to the end. Now what happens is after you've seen this beautiful drone shot, it goes and then it's like, bye. Boom. And again, if you're, you know, working with the black bars, you just start on the black bars and then down. Finished. Now, if you want to create a preset out of this, so you don't have to go through all this again, all you have to do is just right click the crop, save to preset and name it whatever you like. And here you have different types. You can make the scale or anchor to in point, anchor to out point. I would anchor the, uh, the uh, opening effect to in point. It makes sure that it always starts at the beginning, and I would anchor the the uh, you know closing effect at the out point. It makes sure the last keyframe is at the end of the clip. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in comments down below. I'll promise that I will do my very best to answer. Uh, if you could smack that like button for me, it always helps. Um, yeah, <laughs> you don't dare to smack that like button. Smack that like button. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Woo. Man's not hot. Man's not.